God has put it on my heart to do another prophetic video. The last prophetic painting I did, I was on a 21 day fast. And so the Holy Spirit prompted me to start working on something that would glorify Him and glorify the Spirit of God. So when I made my first video, I knew it was breaking ground to establish a foundation for my prophetic drawing and prophetic art because this is where I can stretch my originality and stretch my creativity to glorify God and Jesus Christ. So today on the way to church, I saw three visions in the clouds. The first vision was an angel. The second vision was an eye with a people heart. And then the third vision was a huge wave and a man was swimming in the wave. And the wave was trying to devour the swimmer and to stop the swimmer. So God was showing me prophetic visions and he shows me prophetic visions through images in the clouds and when I go to church on Sunday morning as I drive there God reveals these things to me and today is in such a profound way because in Asbury Kentucky there's a breakout of the Holy Ghost that is in such a powerful way that it will not be contained and it's just going to spread all across America and probably throughout the world because God is perfect timing. He, he is sovereign in his timing and he is perfect in his timing. And he is going to show himself to who he is to the world. And people are flocking to Asbury, Kentucky right now just to experience it, just to stand in line for hours on end in the cold, just to have a, a glimpse of God. And that just shows you the hunger that people have and that, that how many how many people believe in God and how many believe, believe in Jesus Christ. Christ said in the Beatitudes that those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, they will inherit the kingdom of God. Those who are peacemakers, they will be called the children of God. We are here on this earth for a purpose. God has given us life and we need to take that life and use it for his glory. And when we try to swim against those waves, the waves of discouragement, the waves of hurt, the waves of shame, you know, the waves of the world, the waves of an impossible situation. And I believe that God has put this image on my heart to share with you that that eye in the sky is God's love for us. The heart is a pupil in the eye is his love for us. And we can't fathom that love. We think God is someone who is judgmental, but he's given us life and he's given us love. We were, we were born in His image. We were created in His image. And we have to put our trust in God to give us the strength to take on those waves. Take on those waves of impossible situation. Take on those waves of distrust and, and addiction and the things of this world that want to take us down. And that wave is, is going to hurt us. The wave is going to push us around. But we know that God is there. And he's going to help us through the situation. No matter how hard it is. He's giving us light. Blues and greens. And turquoises and teals. And coolness of his sovereignty, the coolness of his love for our hearts. He is a cool, cool God, way cooler than we can even imagine. He's helping us through the situations of the waves as we swim in strength with him. 
He empowers us. He gives us power and glory, for He is the kingdom of God. And He's giving us light. And in that wave of the impossible situation, we will conquer it. And He brings in those oranges and those lights and that contrast of His love for us. He brings warmth when we're too cold. He brings light when we're in darkness. And the world wants to stop us. That world is the wave. The world is the wave of disbelief, of 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 peer pressure. The world is something that wants us to turn away from the Lord and wants us to make us think that it's it's stupid. And we're trying to to swim through that wave, the wave that wants us to push us back 500 steps where we were trying to get 200 forward where the wave wants to push us back even further because the wave represents the evil of the world and just like this revival is happening in Asbury, Kentucky the fire is going to spread it is just starting the spark has just started and it's going to move through churches, through communities, through pastors, through people. And it all starts with just one kickstart of the Holy Ghost. And this is what's happening. And people see it and people have taken note. And it's spreading like wildfire. Spreading through the the chasms of the churches. It's, it's going to be an amazing movement of God that no one can stop. And no one will contain. And God cries for us. God's tears are like the ocean. And the ocean is the salty tears of our Lord. Who cries for us. Who knows what we're going through. And I believe that God has put this image on my heart. To say, those tears are the ocean. That salty water are my tears for you. That I've cried for my people. Save us, O Lord. Save us from this world. Save us, God, from the impurities that try to take us down. Bring light into our hearts as we see that sunset. As we see the oranges and reds of our heart as the light shines and your teardrops fall into the ocean, God, and you collect our teardrops into a bottle. In Psalm 56, 8, it says, You keep track of all my sorrows. You have collected all my tears in your bottle. You have recorded each one in your book. And I believe that through this image, God is saying, my tears have been collected in the ocean. And the waves of the world that tries to stop you, I will be there to help you. I will be there to collect you, to purify you and to strengthen you through my son, Jesus Christ. I believe that God, God is showing me this image to explain what is on my heart that he's giving me to tell you it's strange how these things work but it's powerful and God's angels are around us and God's angels love us and they protect us if you're hearing my voice at this very moment God God loves you know that know that God loves you and I hope these prophetic paintings and drawings are an inspiration And God put this on my heart today at church because today church was different. Today church was all about Him, about worship and just letting the Holy Spirit take over. There was no agenda. There was no 
There's no production value. It was just Jesus and us and worshiping him and loving him and feeling his simple love. We are made to be with him. But I have this parable on my heart that kind of explains what's going on in the world as far as the media and the entertainment business and this parable from Matthew about the ten bridesmaids it says the kingdom of heaven will be like ten young women when they took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom five of them were foolish and five were wise when the foolish took their lamps they took no oil with them but the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps as the bridegroom was delayed all of them became drowsy and they slept but at midnight there was a shout look here is the bridegroom come out to meet him then all of those young women got up and trimmed their lamps the foolish said to the wise give us some of your oil for our lamps are going out but the wise replied there is not enough for you and for us you had better go to the dealers and buy some for yourselves and while they went to buy it the bridegroom came out and those who were ready went with him into the wedding banquet and the door was shut later the young woman came and said lord lord open to us but he replied truly i tell you i do not know you and this is what's going on with the world today because those who are storing up their oil they are the ones in secret place worshiping god praying seeking him loving him and being and being ridiculed for loving him and those who do not have oil are the ones who are the ridiculers and the ones who make fun of christ and the ones who are using the devil as a sort of talking point but those are the ones who are going to think that they're doing the right thing and have both feet in hell and in heaven when they find out the true gospel they will ask the lord to let them in he's going to say away from me i never knew you but i'm here to tell you that god has got plans for you and he's going to destroy evil just ask him just ask him and he will be there and we will know that god is with us but god has put this picture on my heart and when i was in church today i drew it on my offertory envelope and i wanted to um do a new prophetic drawing new prophetic painting i didn't know how i was going to um i didn't know how i was going to execute it so i thought the best way to execute it was to use chalk the fastest quickest way and i had no idea how i was going to do it what colors i was going to use but god has has um show me the way took my hand and said this is how i want you to do it and this is what i want you to say and this is what i want you to feel and this is what i want you to show that no matter what you're going through i have given you strength and you will conquer those waves and my angels will be around you and the holy spirit will be there to comfort you you have my word the word of the bible the word that's been laid down and I will give you rest and I will give you comfort and I will give you strength and Lord I just thank you for my talent I thank you for the talent that you've given me and may I never bury that talent but use it for your glory the glory of your name God to see you and to be with you to want you and to see you feel you and love you help us oh God in these days God as as your spirit breaks out in the world May we see you more clearly. May we see your love. May we see your power, Father. May we see the power of your glory through the Holy Spirit, through Jesus Christ, our King. Thank you for watching. God bless you. And God loves you.